Nathan. Hi, Katie. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So I got your email. It sounds like you've been working on a lot of projects here, but yeah. you have a couple more in mind? Yeah, yeah. We just did our kitchen right behind this door. Yep. Um, we got a new back door coming in. Okay. We'll have a new light. Eventually do a new porch. Yep. Um, but you wrote me about nodding, right? Yes. So this is kind of our main entry. Yep. And as we're like fumbling to get in, yep. uh, we get rained on, yep. snowed on, yep. and it's just kind of a mess going right into our brand new kitchen. Yep. So just, perfect spot for an awning. Yeah. Well, I have one that I picked out. It's really easy to install. You want to take a look? Yeah, let's check it out. All right. All right. Here's the awning that I picked up. As you can see, it's already complete. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to put it together. Looks great. Nice like and it. modern. We'll go good with the kitchen. So all we have to do is bolt it up. And this manufacturer actually sends a template to take a lot of the guesswork out. But first off, we have to address that you have vinyl siding on the home, which is not a flat surface. And we need to address that issue. If we just bolted it right to the house, you know, you're going to have all these gaps here. Yeah. And we're also going to compress that vinyl, which we don't want to do. They sell these lighting blocks that have that double four profile cut out the rear and that creates a nice flat surface for us to mount to, but this is not big enough or long enough. So what I'm going to do is actually create my own block. I took this five quarter PVC and I cut this vinyl profile out the back of it. You can see that's nice and flat and we can mount the awning directly to this. One thing I'd like to do before we get started is place the awning on top of the template because this is set up for two different awnings. All right. Line that up. So what I'm going to do is cut the top of this away that we're not going to use. Nice, now we can trace out the profile on the sides. What I have is two scrap pieces of double four vinyl. And what I want to do is have the top of the awning land under this st start of the course right there. Mm -hmm. So I click the two pieces together and all I'm going to do is trace out the profile mm -hmm. down the side. And I take that away, you can see that line that we left behind. Right. All we gotta do is remove that material with a bandsaw. Now we can clean up the pieces with a chisel and a sander. What are you looking for? Just smoothing everything out. There's a lot of uh, forgiveness in vinyl. If we can just take off any of the bandsaw marks. Okay. Just really light. Yeah. Now we'll assemble the build out with some stainless steel screws. Now I'm going to drill pilot holes for the lag bolts that will secure the awning to the house. All right, we're ready to mount this block. And you said you wanted to put it a little bit higher, right? Yeah, just a little bit higher. So right about there is good? Yeah, that looks great. So what I went ahead and did is I actually added a little notch here because you have a joint in your vinyl siding right there. So to keep it running level, I relieved about an eighth inch. So we're ready to screw it on. I found the center line of the door and I transferred that mark up here. So we're gonna be centered over our opening. I'm applying sealant to tighten everything up and ensure that water doesn't get in. It really just blends in with the siding. Yeah, like we weren't even here. Yep. 
I'm going to add two rows of sealant across the top. The awning will push in and compress that and become watertight. Put all your force behind it. Take that back. If you want to hold it right yep. there. There you go. Good? Yeah. Does that seem pretty safe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we have some threaded caps that are going to cover our screws. All right, Katie, you're all set. What do you think? It's great. Thanks so much. No rain. Nice and dry. Yeah. If you have questions about your house, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Nathan Gilbert for Ask This Old House. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.